Okay, so the plan today is to make this old workhorse, the International, tow. So to do that, it needs a hitch. And I'm here at Mike's and we're gonna fabric cobble some sort of a hitch right in here. And I've got two main goals. I want a two inch receiver up at the top so I can put the winch in it. And then I want a larger receiver below that to accept the actual trailer. And so we're gonna take this hook off, move a few things and get to get to fabric cobbling. Bingo. That way? All right, so the plan is we're gonna take two pieces of five inch square tubing. We're gonna put one up top and one right below it, and then we're gonna weld them all together. And I believe this is what, half inch wall? Half inch wall. Half inch wall. So, and then we're gonna cut holes for the actual receivers once we have that all welded in. So we're gonna start by getting this one in now. It's not easy. Okay, right now. If I get this up, I don't know if there's any ready yet, but I don't know, maybe we should have got the jack up. There we go. Here, just, you got it, can you pull it up? I don't know if it'll pull, but we, I can say it might not be greased enough. Hmm. I don't think it unlocks them, come out. Yeah. Set it down, let's try to get this up somewhere in position. Yeah. That thing usually they just come up, but they don't. They don't get the thing to use it. Sometimes it gets a little bit of oil too for the outcome, but it'll go. Yeah, these things are like finger killers. Oh, buddy. 
Man, man, we gotta let them down. That's the worst part. I know. And then that's when they get. <laughs> I've but I didn't pay nothing for them, so I got a bunch of them. And it's kind of one of those jack of all trades that's good at nothing, but nothing. but good at being I around. Throw, I throw a couple of them, threw them away. Yep. Because they just don't work with the dam. Because sometimes you can't get them to release even. Yeah, I got, got one like that. You get them in a bind, they can be a mix. Well, you get them in a bind, take a big sledgehammer and beat them out. That's what I did. I broke <laughs> the pins right out yep. of them. I had them bent and everything else. But they do come in handy when they need them. They, they do. Work. And I got, them, I got the hydraulic jack down there. I should just run and drop them to the well. This was here. Yeah. Okay, that should do us right there. We should be able to set it Are in. Are we going to do the top one first? Yeah, but we'll, we'll take right. it up and jack it. I'm going to get, get it there in case you don't get in the middle. I don't know how it's going to fit inside of there. I don't know. So there it is. I'll let you rest it on there right at the top. You can be kind of possibly in between and you can get it in and out. Because it might take a minute to beat it in. Yep. A little bit, a little bit. Square. Is it just a it's, fraction? Yeah. I think if we pull this out, let me get a hold of it. That end is hot, so be careful oh, on that it. end. Okay. Is it off? It yeah. Just cool down. Why don't you come over here on this end and grab it? Because that is much hotter. Than well, that. let me see if I can get a pair of pliers on this. Okay. One. And they both would be. Uh, if I get the vice grips on, you could hold it with the vice grips. Let me grind this end off a little yeah. more. Like we're talking maybe a quarter inch. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't that deep. I know. Okay, let me look at it. Look at that. Work. That's flush. We must have sucked in a little bit. We weren't that far off. That's okay. I can cut it a little bit too. Uh, let me just grind it because there's just some high spots. I don't think we're really a half inch off or a quarter inch off. I think it's just these the burrs. Okay. okay. So just go ahead and drop it. Watch your toes. Yeah, I'm gonna let watch it. Grind that as hard. Okay, ready? Yep. I'll just hold it. Yeah. We'll do this. I bring you in there. I think it's almost there. It's not really far off. Once it's just another tap and battle there. Okay. out just a little bit to make this right. Alright. Okay. About as far as yeah, I can go. This end has to come down a little bit. I'm gonna have to drop this one notch. Okay. I think now nope, I see what we're gonna we're gonna hit this edge. We well, need to hit that well, with that. Well, leave it right like it is, and I'll fix it. Okay. With the, with the torch. No, I need to do the torch. I could do the torch. Or the yeah. grinder, you mean? Let's see if I can get this up here. Uh, yep, no. I'm letting it go. Slippery little sucker. Well, it wasn't that. It's, I didn't have jack on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll cut it right now with a bevel. Okay. A little bevel, and it won't make any difference. But I mean, I could have put it up here and just did this without no. There's not a problem doing this. We wanted to do it. Okay, you're. Oh man, you're almost there. You're just about right there. Are you? I can't tell when you're there. Okay, you're right there. If you, oh, just one time, maybe I can do do something to it. Do it on this bottom corner on this that side. Yeah, the bottom corner. Yep. A little bit more. Just a little bit. All right, now the big hammer. Big hammer. I got you. All right, now you. There we go. Yeah, bud. I'll take your side. Yeah, 
they don't bounce. That's why you might have to put the jack in there to make it. There we go. Might be better off with the jack two holes. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not, though, because it's pretty tight. Yeah. I just gently tap it. Yeah. it so it doesn't bounce. That's all. But she's going right in. Getting pretty good. Ooh, that's perfectly on the other side. Well, right. I want to I recess half it. Half inch. Half right? inch. That's what I made. Okay. I made it five and a half. All right. Think about there. Yeah, whatever close. Well, this is already up there. Yeah, well, and this, this this is just bent up slightly. Yeah, there. That that's a little kill. more of a 90, so. Yeah, yeah. that ain't gonna kill you. I'm not too worried about that. No. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what's the plan to put the the receiver? Are we gonna cut a notch? Wherever you want. I don't okay. care. I mean, once we lay it out here, we can cut it, put it anywhere you want after that. All right. I don't really care. I mean, you know, I don't know, putting it up here. I was wanting to do a two inch up here right. so I can mount. The yeah, but I mean, going way up into here don't make sense. Yeah, know. oh, I don't want to cut into the tube. Just cut in the tube. Into the yeah. top, not top here. of the yeah, tube. Yeah, and then yeah. we'll just very weld top it. of the tube. Yeah. Correct. And then, and then we'll mm -hmm. put the other five in. And then what are we going to try and cut right through the middle of both to put the the three inch, the lower seat. Well, I put the th put the lower one around the bottom. Right below them. Yeah, on okay. the bottom tube. And All then right. put the top one on the other one, the bottom on the and other. And what's the height we usually want it at? Like on a on Nine, a big deck eight, over? Eight, uh, deck over would be about 24. But I mean, because that's I mean this thing's gonna tow smaller trailers. But right, but I you're gonna make a drop. You're I gonna want make it to a be drop. High enough that I can use drop hitch. You don't need a drop hitch. You want to put a drop hitch. You don't want it low. Yeah. You would rather have a drop hitch. We'll make it have enough drop hitch. So 24. Yeah. So if we go, you know, five ish below there. Mm -hmm. You put the drop underneath, it doesn't make any difference. You know, that receiver you're getting, that one you're putting on, yep. you put it underneath that. Because that ain't going to be that Well, I'm, I'm thinking that would be about, about right. 24. That'd be about right. You know what I mean? So that leaves you with this other part of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what if we only did one big tube here and we put the receiver there? One big tube. I'm getting you wrong. Rather than another another five inch yeah wasn't that the plan to do yeah. another five inch chunk below yeah because if we did i'm just trying i don't want it to go too low no i understand that but if we put it in that receiver it won't be too low you know put it in that five well if it's in that yes yes not below it no 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 okay no, i no. thought you were saying below it no okay. i say okay. if you wanted to you go below but if you want to put it in there no put it right I, in i think we should put it in because otherwise the drop going to get too so low well that's the thing if you get too low then you're going to be into the dog on when you tilt this up you might not want to do that yeah because if we did right here and the hitch it doesn't make a difference anyway because you're going to make your receiver your whatever your receivers are mm -hmm. your what goes in that you're going to make them whatever you want correct
you shoot that down, it won't take me nothing to fiddle in. Quit it. I don't like that rod. Yeah, that white one's running better. Yeah, it's just, I, it's just, that's 8 inch, this is 332, it's not quite hot. Oh, it wasn't burning in there. Can't be burning. All right, so the plan here is gonna to be to do a two inch receiver in this realm. And then we're gonna do a three inch receiver down here somewhere. Oh, that's still, Oop, yep, that's hot. <laughs> Got me. And so three inch receiver will make some massive, uh, basically hitch mounts for them. But, what do you think? Do we try and stay above the bottom so we've got something? Just a little bit, not much. It'll be pretty well equal. And then, Whatever, yeah. what, center this up yeah. over there yeah. as well? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to center these up like this, and I will, uh, something like that. I'm gonna go a little higher that's than fine. center. As long as you do the same Basically the up to the other one. Yeah, and, that's fine. And then that'll be the line for that one. So I'm, just, I'm gonna eye this one. Yeah, as long as you got the centers in there. Yeah, you I mean, it. it'll be, that one's measured and proper, but this one is just good enough. Good enough, yeah. Cut them in, then we gotta cut the backs out. Okay, I'm gonna your cut. before you do that. You gotta grab a roll and run. I know you're gonna melt it to it. You know you're gonna melt it to it. Bend, bend this rod and then stick it in there and pull it out. Either way. Take that in and bend it a little bit and pull it like a thing and it'll come out. Anyway, you gotta bend. It'll come in later. It's working. You're getting it. I've melted a few at one time, so I've cut in half. So I can it in. Come on, Rod. I didn't get it. Can't see it very well, but we'll get it. top because then we have a stronger bottom. Okay, well here's the thing. You know, one little knot. Oh, you okay. that right there. Yep, yep, I see it. That's what I meant by the other way. Yep. Then I'll take the top. And you have to have the top.
Once that crap's out of there, yeah, we'll get should go in straight. Should go in. Ready? Hang on. All right, here. So we're gonna drill the pinhole for the the hitch here. Yes, we are here in Mike's abandoned junkyard in the abandoned machine shop where you would never think these machines would work. <laughs> and yet they do. It is uh, astonishing to me that these machines still work. But they do. Alright, so got a little bit of work to clean it up and get some uh, stuff done, but man, check that out. Couldn't have done it without that guy, but yeah. Just getting these wires out of the way so I don't end up melting them with the welder. We're going to weld up the back side of these pipes, these uh, receivers.
All right, now I need to create one of these for the big boy hitch. Mike gave me this chunk. This is three inch by three inch solid square stock. So obviously, if you notice, we built a three inch hitch receiver. Not a common thing to build. So how the heck are we gonna get a three inch hitch receiver? Right there. Three inch square stock. So this is what I'm going to basically build one of these with. So both of these are solid 2 inch by 2 inch. The plan will be to cut a chunk of this, drill a hole in it for the pin, just like this one has. Well, they both have them. And then weld a plate onto the end with some gussets, probably more than one due to the size and weight capacity this thing's gonna be. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna drill a whole bunch of holes in it just like that. And the reason for that is because I want to have different ability to raise or lower the pintle. I'm actually gonna use a pintle slash two and five sixteenths ball so I can tow a pintle or a trailer that has a ball, uh, the bigger ones anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off of this plate. We're gonna find another plate and then we're gonna take this thing, we're gonna lay it on top of it and we're gonna use this as my drill hole guide. What that'll allow me to do is basically follow and drill all of these, what I think it's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes vertically. And I may go one step further and do another one. I don't know. Point being is this will allow me to quickly and accurately get the hole locations using this plate. So let's go find a plate and see if we can figure something out. This will work. This is half inch steel, and it'll be a little wider. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cut the sides off. We'll just drill the holes in the middle, and it'll just be a wider plate. Um, that'll be fine. That should work. So the other thing I need to take into account is the fact that where this is mounted, this two inch will fit between these holes and a three inch chunk won't. So I chose this piece because if I set this up all the way down like this and I center it in the middle, it'll give me enough room to weld my three inch chunk right there at the top. And then that way it will be able to be braced down the middle for added strength. And I may even go down to the outside corners and then one in the middle. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to brace it, but point being is a three inch by three inch chunk can be welded right in that area and low enough that I can get a weld up 
along the top and burn that in nice and hot. So yeah, this will work well to be able to get those uh, holes drilled. So because this uh, bar here was in the way, I couldn't get these four holes up top. So what I did was I did all the holes but those four, and I've got these four totally drilled out. So now I can bolt this to that plate, and then I know for sure the lines, uh, the holes will line up. All right, boom, there we have our larger plate, just like this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of holes. And a good space right here for a three inch chunk of metal to get welded on the back. Just like this one has one welded on the back of it. So, yeah, I'll get that chunk welded on there. Add some gussets and that thing will be ready to rock and roll. Needs one more thing. Beautiful. All counter, counter sunk for easy bolt installation. Alright, so we're going to cut a 12 inch chunk of this. I think I killed it. Did not like cutting this. I don't know what would, but maybe I tripped a breaker. Let's find out. Yep. Come on. Tripped the breaker. 
guess I'm just gonna have to go slower. All right, here's my setup for welding this plate to the three inch square stock. So I've got a fireball square clamped twice, got the whole thing clamped to the, to the bench there, and then I've got the square stock clamped to the base. So I'm basically gonna make multiple passes around and then we are gonna brace it in a few places with some gussets as well. So it'll be plenty strong by the time I'm done over welding it. got that burned in and this is gonna be my gusset and so I kind of beveled the edges down here and rounded the corner basically it's gonna be like that and I was gonna do a big triangle that went down further but I really want to try and avoid impeding any of these uh, holes for bolts and I might have already done that on these top two so if I did I'll just take a die grinder and grind some of the weld out so I can get actual uh, nut or washer on the back of these I don't know if I'm gonna need the up that hole that high but I guess you know I want to have the ability to use it but I want this to be as strong as possible so that should add some strength I really did want to come down further but again this is half inch plate so it's not like it's weak by any means so I don't know might add something decorative for the whole uh, Rat Rod Mad Max look, but you know what? It changed my mind. Instead of going like that, I might as well flip it and have a little bit more weld on the actual plate. So it'll go something like that. And at one point, somebody cut this probably like this to bevel for welding, but I think it just looks cool. So I might do that, and then I might do something down. Well, I can't go too far because this has to be able to be inserted in, so this might be it. We'll see, I guess. I still have to drill the hole through the three inch stock to be able to uh, pin it into the, into the hitch. So I think we're gonna weld it up like that, essentially like this. And that way it gives us a little bit more contact with the plate rather than just rather than just uh, more on the actual shaft. Yeah, that'll work. Heck yes. All right, I'm just burning this in. Trust me, you don't want to watch me weld. I am not one to watch. Right, check it out the hitch is finished I put a tow hook on each side on the outside it only had one on the inside over here and then I added two D rings for safety chains and here is the finished plate the finished uh, hitch mount and so I ended up using the very top hole because as you'll see in a video coming soon, the deck over trailer that I tow with, it needed this height to be able to ride level. This still lets me drop it down if I tow a smaller trailer or a lower trailer. Um, worst case scenario, I can also flip this up vertically and use it higher if I end up getting a trailer that's too high. But for now, I haven't painted it or anything. It's been a minute since I uh, did this install, but, um, 
I'm not too worried about the flash rusting. We'll deal with that later. I've got other plans for um, the frame and painting and whatnot, but we're not gonna get into that now. For now, it's just a matter of making this baby tow. And I think we've achieved that goal. But the other thing I'm gonna have to do is add electrical for lighting for the trailer. And so I'm gonna add a seven pin trailer electrical connector at some point, and that's gonna be coming soon. On these internationals, it's actually pretty easy. In the actual cab, there's a, a panel you can flip open behind the driver's seat that shows and has lugs for all the trailer connections. So you just run wires off those directly back to the back, wire them to a seven pin, and you've got it, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me here at the workshop and getting through all the crazy projects that I do especially on this one because, man, now this beast is ready to do the kind of things I want it to do, which is not just use the bed, it's be able to move big stuff. So, thanks for joining me, and I really want to encourage you, get out there and save something old, because stuff like this, older trucks are just getting scrapped and taken to the junk, and you, you give five, ten years from now, they're not going to be around. The old machines, the machine shop equipment, you name it, anything from anvils to, to uh, old trucks, they're not making them anymore. And so if you and I and other people don't get out there and save them, then we won't have them. So I encourage you, if you're at all on the fence of ever doing any kind of projects like this, try it. Start with something. It could be something as small as a tiny little bench vise to an old truck you can get for free or cheap or scrap price, whatever. Just don't be afraid to start. You don't have to have all the knowledge. You don't have to have all the experience. You just have to try. So do that. Find something to get out there and work on. Get back out in your shop, your garage, your basement, wherever the heck it is you can do it. Outside in the driveway, it doesn't matter. Pick up a wrench, pick up something, and go save something old today. You guys, have a great one.